How's the one you guys? My name is Checker and welcome to today's video. Today we will be taking a look at the Tire Waterfall Trap in Fortnite, specifically Save the World. However, you could do this in Battle Royale. Uh, it just might be a little bit obvious as to what you're trying to do. But nonetheless, if you encounter some really, really stupid player on Battle Royale, uh, perhaps a, a very noobish player, uh, you might be able to pull off this trap successfully and wipe out maybe a whole team. I don't know. Although that would take some, some really extreme luck there. In fact, if anybody gets a video of them taking out a whole team with this Tire Waterfall Trap in Battle Royale, uh, I'll give them a dollar. And so yes, there is one whole dollar riding on this trap. Just successfully implement it in Battle Royale and uh, take out a whole team. It really shouldn't be that hard, right? I mean, they are playing Battle Royale, a game that is so intellectually like not challenging at all. Just go and run and shoot and blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry. I just had to take some shots at the Battle Royale players. I'm sorry. But anyway, like I said, today we're taking a look at the Tire Waterfall Trap. This trap is really actually pretty easy to build and is uh, fairly effective if implemented correctly. Keywords on the implemented correctly part, as this trap uh, does kind of require a certain area uh, to build this in. I didn't always have the best areas when I was trying to actually record this. Uh, I did have one area that was pretty good as you can see right here. So you're probably only going to be able to utilize this trap as your main trap uh, probably only a handful of times per day. I guess it really just depends on how much you're playing and how lucky you get. Before you even start building this trap though there is one thing that is incredibly important to this trap and I suppose other traps like it and that is funneling. Funneling is going to be the most important thing for this trap. Due to the elevated surface that the husks have to climb up uh, it, it makes it kind of difficult to get them to funnel correctly and this is kind of going back to what I said about how you need uh, the correct location to do this properly. You can, however, build the slope surface up uh, just on a normal map. However, you are going to make sure that you have a really solid funneling system in place. Reinforced walls behind, reinforced walls behind, reinforced walls to make sure that they go up through the trap. The layout of this trap is really quite simple. Have a sloped surface and then have a tire trap at the very top. Keep in mind, place the tire trap at the very top of the slope surface. Do not place it on the flat surface behind it as the tires will not slide down the surface. Going back to the reinforced forcing point to make sure you have walls underneath the stairway or at least something there to help funnel them upwards through the trap. In some cases you might be able to actually put some wall launchers at the very top of the trap. However, this is not always going to be a thing you can do. Placing wall traps can really affect your funneling situation and uh, you really just need a very solid platform uh, in order to be able to do that. Another thing that you can do to increase the effectiveness of this trap is to stagger them down the slope. This is something that isn't going to play very well with the wall launcher as the wall launcher is just going to throw them into the trap. It's just not going to work very well. So if you're not able to put wall launchers at the top, you can stagger the tire traps downward through the slope and then every increment of the slope, it'll activate a new tire trap. Also a key note, if uh, you guys are recording for some reason, uh, make sure that you have the traps placed already because if you're in first person mode with no HGT, it can get kind of confusing to place those traps correctly. Just uh, just uh, trust me there. But anyway, guys, that has been the tire waterfall trap. Let me know if you guys liked it down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time.